So hello and welcome to our jungle themed dance intensive circus workout party. I'm so happy to be here. Yesterday was a extraordinarily tough day and today has been much better. So thanks for being here with me. I am Cressy May. I am the host of Circus Workout Parties and I'm super grateful to have you here. In case this is your first workout party, a few things to know. Um, please keep yourself muted unless you need to ask a question while teachers instructing and the chat feature is not uh, an option at that time. So say you need to ask something rather important fairly quickly and the instructor is unable to see their chat screen, you can unmute. Just please wait for a pause to do that. And then make sure to mute yourself when you're done. You can pin the video of your instructor to enlarge theirs, or you can keep it on gallery view. You also have the option to opt out of video. If you are on video, there is a possibility of your um, video popping up on the YouTube video during break or something like that, or if you were to speak. So just things to know. Um, I want to introduce you to my snake friend. His name is Slithery Snake because he is a slithery little snake. And I'm um, just a dick jungle lady today. And I'm so excited to be here. I'm passing on to the coaches. I'm Sarah and I'm an aerialist based out of Portland, Oregon currently. Really happy to be here. I am your jungle cat for the, for the next hour and we'll be doing a really awesome cool down with me to um, stretch your buns out after a really nice booty blast. Hi, I'm Staza and I'm based out of Denver and I do all the circusy things and I'm really excited for our, our jungle theme today. I wore my cheetah leggings and every hair flower I own, including a butterfly. His name is Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait to blast your booties. Hey everybody, I'm Casey. I am also an aerialist as well as a dancer based here out of Denver. I'm super excited for this workout today. Um, I'll be taking everybody through some fun choreography. No, you do not have to be a dancer to do it. We're just going to move our bodies, have some fun, do some fun movement. I sadly did not have any super cool outfits like the others, but I have a pretty floral leotard and some pretty leggings that you can't see at the moment. So I am an orchid flower. That's what I'm doing today. Hi, I'm Jocelyn. I'm also a Colorado based aerialist and I will be starting us off with our warm up. We will be doing gyrokinesis today. I taught a class, I think it was last week. And the requirement is a very technical thing called a chair or a couch. So if you have a chair or a couch, get that. You can also do it on the floor, but a chair or a couch is better because you want something where your feet can be on the ground. I have my chair here with Mr. Snake attached. I mean, maybe, maybe I can go. I'm not sure how close I can get, we can still see everything. So I got my sneaky chair, my sneaky sneaky chair. <laughs> for today. And so without further ado, we are going to get going. Okay. So we're going to start. I just got, you just got to get just right. So we're just going to get started, get some nice comfortable seat on your chair or your couch or your floor if that's what it has to be. Just feel your feet into the earth. We're just gonna awaken our senses, just like you're waking up in the morning. You hear the birds chirping in the jungle. You're smelling that nice fresh air. Maybe the ocean breeze is coming in. You're just gonna take your hands and start rubbing them together. Get in between the finger pads. Get it nice and warm. And then wash your face. Rub your face, opening up your face. And just start rubbing away all the, 
as your face. If you are wise enough to have wrinkles, then start rubbing those. And then rubbing your temples in big circles. And moving down to your jaw and rub your jaw. Then come down to your teeth and rub your teeth. Then take two fingers and pinch the bridge of your nose, just pinching up and down, open up the sinuses. I've been getting some allergies in my jungle lately, so I'm a little sniffly. And then take all of your fingers and just press around the orbits of your eyes. A little weird, but really good for you. And you're starting to deepen your breath. And then come into your hair. Watch out for all your awesome hair accessories. So just like you're rubbing your scalp, rubbing the skin off your head. Then coming down into the back of the neck. Rubbing the back of the neck and the front of the neck. Then open up your jaw, moving all that skin around. Coming down to your chest and just lightly tapping all along the upper chest. We can do a little Tarzan. Oh! And then we come down into the belly, using your fingertips in your belly. And then take your fingertips at your diaphragm. I'm arched here and I'm going to curl. Exhale, and just kind of separate your diaphragm from your abdomen. Moving down those ribs. Exhale. And then one more in your floating ribs area. And then stay curled. So this is a curl. This is an arch. So I'm going to curl. I'm just going to massage that belly. Massage it around. Massage that psoas. Then using the heel of your hand, you're going to slightly hit the back of your body. Hit that butt. We gotta get our butt nice and loose because Staza is gonna turn it around, make it hard as a rock. And then go down the IT band, down the outside of your legs, down the tops of your legs, inside your legs, around your knees. And then just tap gently on that place your doctor hits where you might place your knee. Go, and then raise your leg up and go down your calf. Have your calf loose. So you don't want to have your leg engaged. You want your calf nice and loose. Just go down and up. And your other calf. And then cross one foot over and just massage that foot. I'm like getting into it. And then let's um, take our fingers, our fingers that are on our feet, do the splits. They just split one way, the other way. And you open them wide. Next toe is one way, other way. Open them wide. Just moving up to your big toes. And then take your hand and flex that foot, massaging the arch. Like getting in there, massaging the inside and the outside of the arch. And then extend your Achilles tendon, pulling out your heel. And then the other foot on the other side, just massaging, opening up that foot. They're so far away from our head, we forget about them. And then make your toes to the splits. One way, other way, center splits. Just moving down to your big toe. Remember to breathe. <sighs> nice big breaths. And then draw your foot back, massaging the arch. And then pulling out the heel. Excellent. Now let's come with both feet on the ground. My hands are just gently resting on my thighs. We're just gonna start with a little arch and a curl. Just rocking the pelvis forward and back, opening up the front of the ribs, letting the shoulders be soft. 
If you want to add the breath in, it goes like this. You're going to inhale through the middle, exhale back. Inhale through the middle, exhale front. Now I'm going to add some arms in. I'm going to go hands to fingertips, my belly button, and then opening up on a V. Now I'm just going to exhale, exhale. Now my arms are going to swim up to the middle. And I'm going to inhale. And still arching and curling. And now my arms are going to come to the front as I curl and I inhale. And then I expand my bird wings, exhale, arch, inhale. Two more of those. Now we're gonna inhale to the middle and exhale the big diagonal. Inhale to the middle, exhale arch on the diagonal, off the diagonal. Switching diagonals. This kind of makes me feel like I'm swimming through the air. One more each side. And coming back and relaxing those hands on the thighs. My feet are just planted on the ground. And now I'm gonna do a twist, looking around to one shoulder. I'm gonna twist and spiral up, 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 look around to the back of me. And exhale to the middle. Inhale to the other side. Exhale to the middle. Just feel like you're a coil getting longer and longer and longer as you spiral. Now this one is where I'm going to bring my hands, one hand behind my back, the other hand across. I can come to my inner thigh and inhale, being a little more of a twist. I can use that hand behind me to give myself length. Other side. Two more each side. One more each side. Inhale, getting taller. Excellent. Now we're gonna make a fist with one hand. You're gonna push with the other. That makes you twist around the corner. And then reverse on the other side. So push and twist. Again, inhale to the middle. Exhale to the back. Now we're gonna take that. We're gonna turn it into on the diagonal down. So you're going down. It's like you're pushing your fist to the ground. You're making some interesting figure eights or infinity signs. One more each side. Excellent. Come back to the center. Now we do belly circles. So my body's gonna go front to the side, to the back, to the side. Again, front, side, back. Side and smooth out the corners. It's okay if one of your sits bones is coming off the chair or couch or floor. These are very organic movements. We want the body to not feel restricted. And now we're gonna stop at the front and reverse. So side, back, side, front, side, back, side, front, and smooth it out. Have nice breaths that sound like the sound of the ocean. Just breathing out nice and slowly. Now, I'm gonna take one hand, grasping the wrist of the other, my palm is facing out. I'm gonna reach out over that leg that my palm is facing out. So reach out as far as you can, and then reach towards the camera, then reach over to the other side and back. Again, reach out to the side, around, and in. Two more. Out, around, and in. Last one. Reaching out, around, and in. Reversing direction. So grasp the other hand, 
palm faces out, reaching out all the way around. And again, two more. Last one. Really feel your feet into the ground as you reach around. And now, switch hands again. Now we're gonna make little rainbows above our head. So we're gonna reach over to the side and up and around and then get a C curve going in your spine. Really feel, oh, my sixth bone is off the floor right now and around. And again, reach up and C curve. Oh, I feel that side stretch. And one more. And let's go to the other side. So clasp onto the opposite wrist. Your palm is going to face away from you to the ceiling. Nice big C curve. Oh, it feels so good. And last one. Interlace your hands, palms to the sky, and we're going to make little halos. And then move that torso around too. And then reverse directions. Excellent. Now we're gonna do some waves. So the way from the side, I'll just do one for you. From the side, heel right there, so the way down and up. And then I'm gonna dive the top of my head, dive down and up. So we're gonna inhale before we go. Inhale, I feel like you're on a roller coaster and you're about to go inhale, woo, down. Inhale up and dive the top of your head, exhale and through again. And dive through. One more time. And dive through. And now, bring your torso square with one of your legs. And we do the same thing. So inhale up, exhale, arch down, curl up. Reverse it. Two more times. And And dive down. The last one. And dive down. Other leg. Here we go. And diving down. And last one. All right, bring your legs together, and I'm going to bring the hands together, and I'm going to cross down and open up to the sky. Inhaling up to the sky, reach, 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 and curl over. Other side, you're going to reach up to the sky, reach, 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 and then curling over. If you're in the jungle, maybe you're like, I want that mango. I'm gonna get that mango and curl it over. And last time, reaching up, 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 and curling over. Now we're gonna move on to some feet steps. So I'm gonna tilt it down a little bit. And so I'm gonna have my foot pointed flat on the ground. I'm just gonna simply brush the top of my leg and then circle my arm back. Another side, brush. I'm circling back. Same front, first side, brush. And second side, brush. Now flex your foot, same thing, flex. I like to draw down the back of my leg here because that's where we're really feeling the stretch on the flex. Just to remind that nervous system that it's okay. We're gonna chill out. And now we're gonna bring our foot to the side. Point your foot first, so brush. And other side, brush. Circling your way back up, brush. You're reaching out as far as you can. And now flex, flexing, and flexing, and flexing. Last one. 
Now brush down the first leg to the front, pick it up, cross it over, flex it, get a nice stretch here. Breathing, shake your head out. Reach your leg out towards me. And now bring it to the side, internally rotate it. Put your hand on your thigh, reach out away from you, palm away from you and up and over. And coming back, reaching the other leg out in front of you, pick it up, cross it over, flex it, get a nice stretch there. Reach it out towards me, internally rotate it and over to the side. Excellent. And the last thing we're going to do with me today is we're going to turn to one side. The lovely solar stretch. So I'm in like I'm in a lunge. I have one butt cheek on my chair and one off. I'm gonna put my other hand, fingers facing up, right on my sacrum. My back knee is bent, and then I'm gonna push into my sacrum, scoop my spine, and look up on the diagonal and straighten that back leg. Really feeling a nice stretch here in the front of your hip, and release. Inhale, and again. Exhale, straighten that back leg, really expand. And other side. So I'm gonna rotate to the other side. One butt cheek on, one butt cheek off. Put my hand on my sacrum. And then inhale, exhale, straighten that back leg, expanding. And release. And one more time, expand. And release. Excellent. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for Jerry Kinesis. It's such a wonderful thing to do. I'm passing on to Casey. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. That was amazing. I don't know about you all. I uh, feel so much longer. <laughs> feel as a five foot three person, I will take all the length that I can get. <laughs> So I feel a lot looser, a lot more lengthened. If you need a sip of water, go grab that real quick. We're gonna go ahead and dive into our choreography section. I'm excited for this. So again, grab some water if you need it. Just make a mental note of time real quick. So I make sure we stay on track today. All right, let's get started you guys. Um, so again, please feel free to unmute yourselves or type a question in the chat. I'll try to make sure I check in with you guys after each little block of choreography I teach in case there's any questions. Again, most of this is pretty basic. If you took choreography, choreography, choreography with me last week, um, you might see one or two moves that are familiar. Um, I did that on purpose, um, but there'll be lots of new stuff too. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the first section and then we'll go ahead and go over it and talk about it. So we're going to have All right, so that's section one. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So first off, um, you're welcome to do the same side as me. Um, a lot of my students um, online recently have found mirroring me more helpful. So if you want to mirror my movements, which means you'll be doing the opposite side of what I'm doing, awesome. Honestly, whatever works for you. I'll try to not cue left and right so as not to make it too confusing. So if you're one of those people that are thinking, can I just mirror you? Please just mirror me, all good. So we're gonna reach one arm. I'm using my left, but again, you, do, you can mirror me if you want. One arm's gonna reach across the chest. The bottom arm is gonna hook. So I'm just hooking that nice side stretch that we do a lot as dancers and aerialists. It's essentially that. We're just gonna move it real quick. So it's arm hook. From here, we're gonna take the hand of the arm that's hooked and do a little caress. So we're not, I'm not actually touching my face. I'm just kind of making a little kind of grab with my fingers like I'm grabbing my face, yeah? So one more time with that. So we have and I'm just feet are standing, just hip distance apart. So we have arm hook, caress, 
I'm gonna drop it slightly and then lift. And then my arm that's straight across my body is gonna push the arm that was hooked away and it's gonna drop down. So all that gooey arm stuff we just did with Jocelyn, that'll help a lot with this. Um, again, don't worry, don't get too technical about it. So I'll go over that part again. So we have arm hook, caress, down lift, and then this arm is just gonna push this arm away and we're gonna drop it down, yeah? Questions on that so far? Nope, perfect. So we're going to let um, this arm take us into this next piece of choreography. So the right arm's gonna drop down, scoot back just a smidge so you guys can see my feet. Hard for me to get my full body in view with the space I got here. So we just did this. Um, if you wanna add a little plie or flex um, on this part, go for it. If you wanna just keep the legs straight, that's fine as well. So this arm's gonna fall down and then this move should look familiar from my last choreography. So we're gonna do a little swoop and switch. So it's just a little step together. So I'm doing a little plie and then a little reach out. It's almost like a skier lunge, if you will. Kind of the best way I can describe that. So let's go over that from, uh, so we just did this part here. Again, you can plie and drop. This arm comes around and then we have swoop, swoop. Yeah? All right, let's do that from the top real quick, all together. So we have arm hook, caress, and lift, drop, down, swoop, swoop. Yeah? Jungle has so much foliage. We're breaking through that jungle foliage to find whatever we're looking for. We'll have some pretty orchid flower moments in this piece and some fun tribal moves as well. So let's do that one more time all together. So we have a cross hook, caress, toss, let it go, swing it around, and lunge, sweep through the jungle. Yeah? Questions on any of that? Oh, awesome. Great. Let's add on, shall we? So for this next part, um, we're going to do just a little turn, just because turns are fun. Um, so we just did here, here. Now I'm going to stand up, bring my arms together. So this hand is basically touching this one. And I'm just going to show you the arms first. So my back arm is going to push this arm away and circle over my head. So I'll back up a little bit here. So we just did swoosh the jungle, swoosh the jungle, push it away, make it counter back over your head. And this arm is just going to drop as I do that. Yeah? Let's go over the arms one more time before I add the legs. So we just did swoop, swoop, left arm picks up the right arm, it comes back across the body and swoops. So that arm is going to be a big factor in helping me with that turn. So that being said, we're here. I'm going to shift my weight back to my right foot here. So my weight's on my right. And I'm going to do, as this comes across, I'm going to shift to my left, back over. Whoa, was I all over? Back over and down. So again, if you're mirroring me, you'll be turning in the opposite direction. I'm turning over my right shoulder, but you might be turning over your left. I know that's probably one of the funkiest parts I've got, so let's go over that again. So from our last jungle lunge, move it across, shift the weight back, turn it, and then I'm landing in a plie on the leg I turned on, and this leg is sliding out and we're doing kind of little jungle, sweet jungle arms. Yeah. So again, I'm barefoot too. Uh, so if you might want socks for this, if you have socks, I have a wooden floor. So I was wearing socks would be a little slippery. So if you get stuck or if you have carpet, don't worry, just kind of milk it. So one more time from the top. Um, so we have arm, arm, caress, down, push, sweep it, and one, two, reach across, arm comes back, you're gonna turn and you're gonna milk. Yeah, so almost imagine you're a panther or a cougar or a lion or tiger in the jungle, 
and you just broke through and you're like, ha, here's my brain. No, it's fun, fun little Philly things. Um, questions on that turn? No, not really. And I'm just dragging this leg, by the way, in dance terminology, we sometimes call it a pencil turn. So my toe is staying on the ground here. I'm not taking it off. And it's just dragging, like you're making, drawing a big circle uh, with your toe as you're going around. I'm staying on flat here in a plie in my turn. If you want to take it up on releve, whoa, you can. Um, I don't have the best uh, floor for that right now. So I'm just staying down on flat. But if you're feeling adventurous, want to go up to releve, you can. So let's go over all that from the top one more time, just in case anyone's confused about the turn, and then we'll add on. So this first part's quick. We're gonna go and hook, slow, up, down, slow, and quick, and quick, reach across, back, turn, milk. Yeah, perfect, you guys are amazing. All right, I'm gonna tilt my camera just a smidge because we're getting ready to go to the floor here. Um, so we're here. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower my hands and just kind of prop to a little seated position, or kneeling position rather. So it's nothing crazy, nothing super fancy. So I'm bringing my hands down. I'm doing a little jump with this foot to tuck it under. Yeah, that's it. Now we're gonna get into some tribal fun. So we're going to clap the floor, and then we're gonna fist pump the floor. Yeah, so you guys can stay on the ground if you want. I'm just gonna show you how I got down again. So I'm here. And down, boom, boom. Yeah, awesome. Lots of fun. Any stress, frustration you've had today, take it out on the floor. The floor is your friend, he's there for you. All right, so we have flat the floor, fist the floor. Our arms are gonna go out, in. So once I bring it up from the ground, my elbows are out to the side, my palms are facing down, I still have fists here. And then I'm gonna turn my elbows down and then pull in, palm face it. Yeah. So this is gonna be like a quick slow. So almost imagine there's super thick air and you're squeezing. So you should really feel those pec muscles when you do that one. So let's pretend we just got to the floor, starting with our full pounding here. So what we have down, down, in, and pull. Yeah, awesome. Let's do that from the turn. Um, so again, my head's disappeared, I know, but I just want you to be able to see my feet here. So we just did our sweep, sweep, across, back, turn, milk, down, clap, fist, fist, elbow pull. Yeah. Questions on any of that? Looking at the chat, does it look that way? Questions, anybody? I'll take a second in case anyone has questions. No? All right. You guys are pros. Um, let's do that much from the top uh, before I add on. Um, so I'll tilt my camera up just a smidge. All right, so we have from the top, we have arm hook, caress, and toss, drop, Swoop and swish, swish, across, swim, turn, drop, and down, clap, pump, pump, elbow, pull. Yeah, so this part makes sense. So again, we're horizontal to the ground here with our arms and then we're vertical. Yeah, perfect. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more on. Sounds like you guys are doing great. So we just had here, here. Now I'm going to reach, as once I come here, I'm going to reach my arms back. I'm going to sit back. It doesn't matter which hip. I'm sitting back on my right hip. And then I'm going to do kind of swoopy legs. Yeah. So kind of ooey gooey stuff like we did with Jocelyn. Imagine you're, you have one of those, forget what they're called, those little sticks that they use in the jungle, break it all down. So you're swishing through the jungle leaves and then we're going to go yeah, little sudden surprise, switching through the jungle. Oh my God, there's a whatever you see that just catches you off guard. So we have um, 
Uh, so we have clap, fist, fist, out, in, sit it back, swim, swim, pop, cross. Yeah? Questions, comments, concerns? Okie doke. Awesome, you guys. Uh, oops, looks like I got something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm typically very, like, graceful ballet contemporary, for those of you that know me, so I try to get a little funkier <laughs> with this choreography than I normally get, so I appreciate that. <laughs> um, so we just had swish, 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 pop, cross. Yeah? So I'm crossing my left leg in front. Again, you cross whichever leg. It doesn't really matter. So the leg that I didn't cross in front, for me, this is my right. I'm going to sit onto this hip and lift my hips up. So my ankles are kind of crossed here, and I'm making like a diamond shape uh, with my legs. But my right thigh, or knee rather, is still on the ground. Yeah? And my left arm is just tucking behind my back here. And I'm doing it's just like a little hip thrust and down. Yeah? So we go over that again from the, from the swishies. So we got swishy, so three swishies. Swishy, 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 pow, cross. Up. Yeah. Now, the leg that's on the ground, this is similar if you took uh, Marisa's uh, floor work yesterday, which was amazing, by the way. If you missed that workshop, please do it. It's amazing. So again, we're lifting here. So my left foot is on the floor. So now I'm going to slide my bottom leg out, and then my arm's going to float up. Yeah. So let me tilt my camera down just a smidge so we can look at that. So, pow, cross, we have hip, and I'm going to melt my hips a little bit here, slide that leg through, arm, yeah, I think I did this move in my last uh, choreography section too. So, let's back it up a bit, so let's pretend we just got to the floor, and we'll start with our clap the floor, clap the floor part. Alright, here we go, you guys, ready? So we've got clap, pound, pound, elbow, pull. Sit it back, swim, 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 cross, hip, drop, slide up. Yeah. A lot of quick, slow type of movement in this section here. Um, questions on the hip lift, the slide out part, any of that? You guys good? Awesome, fantastic. Uh, still have a little under 10 minutes left, which is awesome. So let's try all that from the top. And if there's still no questions, I'll add just a little bit more, yeah? And then we'll finish up. So I'll tilt my camera back up a bit. Okie doke. Yeah, on the jungle booty. You got it, Saza. We're going to get that booty all nice and warm after this. We're just getting the heat started. Saza's going to make it sizzle. So we have... Arm, arm, hook, massage, down, up, drop it, swim, down, and swoosh, swoosh, reach across, counter, turn it, melt it to the floor. Clap, pound, pound, elbow, pull, sit it back, and a swoosh, 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 pound, cross, and hip, lower, slide it out, and on. Yeah? You know, we just kind of went from real funky to real, we just went from a tribal vibe to a pretty orchid vibe. So, questions before I add the last chunk on? Oh, camera crush, I know. Y'all are going to see my crush so many times, I apologize. <laughs> um, all right, so we just, um, so, sorry, camera one more time. Uh, so we just did our, uh, yeah. Sorry guys, you're gonna see my crotch lots of times here. And then slide it up. Now, I'm gonna pull this arm in. Yeah, so we just went real pretty. I'm gonna pull it in. Now, I'm gonna push off of whatever hand is on the floor, and I'm gonna do a little spin around myself, back to my knees. Now, if you don't have a floor that allows you to spin very well, don't worry about it. Um, sorry, we're here. And just do a push and come to your knees. Yeah. 
This is just something fun. Spin it around the jungle. So if you want to do a spin, awesome. If your floor um, is not working for that or you want to save that booty, massage and work out, just do a little shift. Oops, sorry, we're here. My bad. Push, bring it under you, yeah? Because from here, and I'll show up, I'll be doing it from the front, but I'll show you real quick from the side view. We're just gonna put our weight in our hands, tuck our toes under a little jump, and roll up to standing. So our last two things are gonna be standing, yeah? So I'll show both versions real fast. So we head hip, down, slide, up, down, spin, pop it, roll it, yeah? You don't want to do the spin. We have hip, down, slide, up, down, push, knees, up, yeah? Either one is totally fine. Again, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I know we all have um, different, um, sorry, all the crotch shots. Can you break that down more? Um, yes, I can. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, so for the crotch part, uh, so we just did, um, uh, what did we just do? We just did this bit. So I'm just leaning over onto one hip, bringing my legs in front. We're just gonna do a swoop, swoop, swoop. And I'm just gonna open my legs and then I'm crossing my left leg over. Again, you guys can do the mirror me, do the same one. That leg's going to stay on top as I push my hips up and lower down. And then my leg on the bottom, so not the leg that's on top, is going to slide through to the front, come down. And then again from here, you can push and bring your knees underneath you to stand up. Or you can do, depending on your floor, that little push, spin, and jump, roll up. Yeah? Did that help? Hopefully, yes. Did that help people? Yay, awesome. Okie dokie, so we just stood up. We got two more little moves here, we are done. So we just did that pop, roll up. I'm gonna bring my right elbow to my left knee. So again, if you're mirroring me, you'll go this way. It, again, it doesn't really matter. It's whichever one you want. Um, sorry guys, my camera angle is not the best. Um, so we're going to go in, to opposite knee to opposite elbow, I'm going to step on that leg, and then I'm going to step on my other leg and do a toss brush here. And that's it. That's the whole thing. So let me show the last standing part again. So we either spun, got on our knees, however you want to do that, did our little jump, and rolled up, and we have cross, step, step, toss it, and if you want to do funky tribal arms, uh, when you finish that, go for it. Honestly, whatever arms you want. So from here, I'm just putting that foot down. Then I'm going to step on my other foot and then brush the leg that I connected with my elbow back. And that leg's just going to fall to the floor. And again, arms are whatever you want. Yeah. All right, I think I have like three more minutes, something like that. Um, yeah, spin, okay, perfect, yeah, awesome. Okie doke, uh, let me show, let's actually, let me show it from the spin real fast to the very end. If there's no questions, we'll run it two or three times and then I'm gonna pass the torch, yeah? Saw a question. Can I explain the leg brush part again? Yes, we most certainly can. So, we just stood up opposite elbow, opposite knee. So you're gonna put your weight down on this leg and then the other leg comes forward. If you wanna make this, um, so we just did here, here. If you wanna make this a brush, that's fine. If you wanna make it more of a jump, you can too. It's either one. So we have elbow to knee, that leg lowers. I'm gonna step on my other leg and that's the leg that I'm going to either stand or jump on, and then the leg in the back is just going to brush. And you can do whatever you want with your arms here. I was just tossing my same arm with my leg, so 
So it's kind of like a saute arabesque of sorts. And then again, it's just gonna, that arm's gonna pull you in. To do whatever jungly finish you wanna have. Did that help, Sarah? Hopefully. Yeah, awesome. Y'all are the best. Okay, no, let's run it from the top all together real fast. So we have arm hook and to the face and toss. Drop, arm sweeps, through and swoosh, swoosh. Shift it, shift it, turn it and drop it to the floor. We have clap, pound, pound, arm, pull it and back and swoosh, 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 pop, cross. Lift hip and slide it and lift it. Either tuck the knees or spin and roll it all the way up, cross, step, and jump. Yeah, awesome. Questions before we run it one more time, and then my time's up, I believe. No, all right. All right, jungle people, let's do this one more time. Here we go, have fun with it. If you forget something, just keep dancing, this is what this is all about. So we have five, six, seven, Eight and arm hook caress, drop and toss it, reach, swish, swish, across, back, spin and down, to the floor, clap, pound, pound, elbow pull, in, back, and swish, 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 cross, hip, and slide, arm, and down, and spin, Roll it up. Last thing, cross, step, and toss. Jump. Yeah. You guys are the best. That was so much fun. Thank you guys for letting me teach you that. Now I'm going to pass it. Oops, sorry. Can I explain the brush? Oh, that was earlier. Hi, Beth. I'm going to pass it over to the lovely Staza for that jungle bootay. Thank you so much, Casey. That was so much fun. I haven't done any dance choreography in a really long time. So that was great. Um, we're going to start standing for our jungle booty. And we're gonna take a little break after my section. So if you can hold through, feel the burn, and then, you know, release, so hold it. It's great, it's gonna be great for your pelvic floor if you have to pee. Hold it and we'll work the butt. Okay, we're gonna start standing in our wide, Squat position here, toes turned out. I'm gonna be tracking my knees over my feet. This is your poison dart frog. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do 20 squats just like this. That's right. Just gonna squat it out, making sure that you squeeze at the top, really trying to engage that booty while keeping my abs nice and tight to protect my lower back. You're beautiful jungle creatures. Well, right now you're frogs, but frogs are beautiful or cute. So you can be whatever frog you choose. I am one of the bright blue ones. Whatever they are, they're dangerous. Just like these booties. Nice, couple more. Really squeezing at the top. Last one and awesome. Okay, we're going to turn those feet in to come to a parallel position. And you know it, we're gonna do some more squats. So from here, we're just gonna be squatting down, coming back up. Arms of choice, I like to bring mine in front because it helps me feel like I'm propelling myself in some way. Even though my butt is doing all of the work, I like to distract myself. That is the goal of my working out, is how much I can distract myself while I'm doing it. Maybe you're picking fruits. Like Jocelyn said, you're grabbing your mangoes and you're showing them to yourself. You're like, wow, those look great. Look how juicy, oh, they're gone. Oh, they're back. Look at your fruits. Then squeezing the booty at the top, checking in with the self and the rest of your body. Couple more. Last one. And awesome. We are going to bring the feet together to do heel raises. So I'm gonna zip up every part of my body, and I'm gonna just do little lifts. So you're very strong like a tree, but maybe you're like a fancy magical tree, and you're a type of tree that can walk. 
So you're just testing your roots out. You're raising them up a little bit. Nice job, you guys. Really squeezing the butt. You wanna think about, you're gonna blast off through that jungle canopy out into the beautiful sky that's full of big puffy white clouds. Awesome. A couple more. We're gonna hold it at the top on this one. Really hold and squeeze, hold and squeeze, engaging those abs, finding that balance, and then lower as slow as you can. How slow can we go? Can you move like a trickle, like a little trickle down the jungle leaves? And place it down. Awesome. Next thing that we're going to do are little leg crosses. I'm gonna take my leg, I'm gonna flex my foot, I'm gonna squeeze it in front, squeeze it out, squeeze it in back, front, out. So it's making a little triangle, and I'm really engaging both legs. We're gonna do 10 of these. So front to back, and front again counts as one. It's like Casey is saying, maybe there's a lot of foliage in your jungle, and you did not bring a machete, because who carries those? So you gotta use those legs. You're gonna chop through those jungle vines with your thighs of steel. Really squeezing, flexing that foot, finding that full leg engagement. We are not trying to relax. Got one more. Awesome, shake that out, go ahead and switch sides. Same exact thing, flex that foot super hard, engaging the little muscles above your kneecap to have a straight leg, cross in front, out to side, and back. So I'm trying to squeeze every step of the way. I'm squeezing out and then squeezing in, engaging my abductors and my adductors. This is a very luscious jungle, and although it's beautiful, you just can't see where you're going. Just gonna cut through some of these plants. You're trying to find your way to that waterfall. Nice. Engaging the abs, keeping your balance as best you can. You can hold on to something if you want for this. That's fine. This is less about like a balance exercise and more about your thighs squeezing, scissoring through the underbrush. Let's do one more because I lost count. Okay, awesome. Shake that out. We're going to do leg swings. So these are not our beautiful dance leg swings or flexibility leg swings. These are leg swings that my booty is powering. So going to the front, and again, I like to flex my foot. You can point whatever you want, just try to have an engaged leg and make a choice. I'm gonna swing to the front. I'm not gonna go very far, because I'm just going as far as I feel like my booty is powering the engagement. I don't want to recruit my quads or my hip flexor or anything else. I want my booty to be doing all of the work. Sorry, booty. Nice. We're gonna turn those to the side. So same exact thing, just the booty. Doing these kind of, not quite micro lifts, but only like your halfway lift. I know some of you can kick yourselves in the face, but that's not what we're going for. Unless you can do it all with your booty, in which case I am impressed and you have buns of steel. And we're gonna do 10 to the back. These I like the best, I feel like I can really feel the engagement and my glute doing the work. So I'm squeezing to lift that leg. Nice. Shake that out, we're gonna switch legs and do the exact same thing, starting with our leg swings to the front. Nice flexed foot. You ate your mango, you're just kicking the pit of the mango away. You're gonna let some of the other animals enjoy it now. Or maybe you have a leaf stuck to the bottom of your foot. And you're like, oh, it's so beautiful. I wish I could pick it up, but I can't, because I'm doing an exercise. We're gonna go out to the side. Nice. Same thing. I like to hold on to my hip here, just to give my body some gentle reminders of what it's doing. And we're gonna do 10 to the back. Just kicking some dirt. You're marking your territory. Showing all those other animals who's boss, or maybe that you're here as a friend. And shake that out. Awesome. We are going to come down into a tabletop position. 
We're gonna get onto that jungle floor. Smell that beautiful, moist earth. From our tabletop, I'm gonna start by flexing my foot and bending my leg so it's parallel with the ground. From here, I'm gonna do tiny little micro pulses up to the sky. So just engaging my booty and kicking up towards the ceiling. Once again, not trying to show off how flexible, trying to keep this out of my back. My abs are engaged. Go ahead and straighten that leg and do the same thing. 10 little pulses, but with your straight leg. Nice. We're gonna take that down, tap and lift. So we're tapping the floor and lifting up. I always like to say we're kicking balloons around here. So maybe there's just beautiful leaves falling from the trees and you're just pooping them out of your way. It's a jungle party. The leaves are the jungle confetti. Nice job. Go ahead and bend that knee again and flex that foot. And we're going to do kickbacks. I'm going to kick back and then rebend. Kicking back and rebending. Maybe there's an animal approaching and you're not sure if they're friendly or if they're enemy. So you're just letting them know that you mean business. Nice. We're gonna straighten and point that foot again. This time I'm gonna tap on the ground on the same side. I'm gonna lift that leg up and tap to the other side of my leg on the floor. So I'm making little rainbows. You've made it to your waterfall. Now you're looking at all of the rainbows being formed in the droplets. Once again, trying to keep the motion in your booty, checking in with yourself. Are your abs engaged? Are you pushing the floor away from you? These are reminders to me as well as you. Couple more. Last one. Then awesome. Then we're going to come back into our tabletop position. We're going to take that same leg that we've been working. So we're just going to exhaust it. We're going to go ahead and lift it up to the side. Doing our little fire hydrant. You're just the little jaguar in the jungle, checking out trees. And you spend some time in the streets of the city, so you see what the dogs do, and you like it. Nice. Last one. Awesome. We're going to keep that fire hydrant. We're going to raise our leg up, then we're going to bring the knee into the elbow and back. So I'm doing kind of tiny little crunches, but I'm trying to keep it out of my obliques. So I'm focusing again, the motion in my booty. And last one. Awesome, go ahead and shake that leg out. I'm gonna check my time. But if you couldn't have guessed it, we're gonna go to the other side. So other legs in the air, parallel to the floor, flex foot, and we're gonna do those tiny little pulses. Little baby kicks. Maybe there's bubbles falling and you're just, you want to pop them. Go ahead and straighten that leg, same thing. Engaging the booty for these micro pulses. Now we're going to tap down and lift up. So doing that kind of, not again, not full range of motion because I know some of you can really kick those limbs around just so it stays in the butt. Nice. Then we're gonna bend that leg, flex that foot, we're gonna do our kickbacks, kicking back. Beautiful. Maybe you're an elephant, you're playing a little game of elephant soccer, and this is how you're doing it. Awesome, straighten that leg, point that toe, let's do our rainbows. Tap into one side, up and over, tap on the other side. How big of an arch can you get into your rainbow without it going into your back? How much can your booty lift that leg? I believe it's probably quite a lot. One more after this. And awesome, we're gonna come back to our tabletop and do our little fire hydrant leg lifts to the side. Just lifting it up. Oh yeah. Maybe this is how you say hello. I'm winking if you, I can't see. We're gonna leave that leg up. We're 
to do those crunches. So, knee's going to come to my elbow. Nice. And 10, shake that out. We are going to come down onto our sides. You are your sexy jungle animal. What are you? Maybe you're a monkey. Maybe you're a jaguar. Maybe you're still a frog. Frogs can be sexy. I'm gonna come to this little side sexy position and I'm gonna lift up and open. So I'm opening up my knee to the sky. My feet are staying touched. Yes. These are called clamshells. Or maybe you're in the kind of jungle that has coconuts. So you're opening up your coconut. Or you're cracking your coconut. You're really trying to break it with those knees. Because once again, you didn't bring your machete. Or you're a frog and you don't have pockets. Or a machete. We're going to do that same exact motion. When I get to the top, I'm going to lift my foot up, keeping my knee where it's at, touch my foot back down, and close. So lift up. Flick that foot up, touch, and close. Yes. Beautiful. I keep seeing a kitty run across the screen. I think it's Jocelyn, and it's bringing me great joy because we are, we are truly in the jungle. There's live animals. Couple more. Last one. And 10. Awesome. Go ahead and swing those legs around. Come to your other side. Choose your sexy animal position. Maybe you're not a frog anymore. Maybe you're something different. I'm going to stay a frog because they have those long legs that can just spring right open. We're going to start with those little coconut crackers. Just lifting that knee up and down. Nice. And then we're going to turn that into our little toe flick. So I'm going to lift up, lift my foot up, come down, and close. Yes. I always like to say maybe you're really, you're just like not in the mood to talk. So you're just giving directions. Somebody's like, which way to the waterfall? And they're like, oh, down that like really insane looking rocky jungle path over there. But I'm not going with you because I'm busy being a sexy frog in the sun. Nice, couple more. And last one. And 10. Woo! And that is my alarm, which means that we are ending right on time. And I'm going to send you guys. Oop, you stop it. I'm going to send you guys on a little break for a couple minutes to go to the bathroom before we come back with Sarah.
right, so as people start to filter back, we will move into the next section, which is called just lying around with the beautiful and wonderful Sarah, who's going to take us through our splits flexibility and some cool down. And then Sarah, um, it looks like most people are not back yet. So I believe there were a couple of things, um, a couple of tools that you wanted us to have available for this. So maybe you like wow. I almost yeah. forgot to mention. So for our lying around, cool down, two yoga blocks would be great. Or if you have some thick books, those will work fine. Also a nice handy yoga strap that can act like a nice vine today or other jungle foliage to help us stretch um a i guess a theraband could work as well or even just a belt if you have one handy we'll go ahead and wait for everyone to trickle back in i've also used a scarf for stuff like that Love it. i'm assuming it's long something that is long and provides resistance yes exactly Thanks, cool. Sarah. Love it. Um, let's give it like 30 more seconds and then we'll get started. Perfect. Well, I am so thankful for that break. I drank too much jungle juice, so I had to go to the bathroom for sure. How's everyone doing? I love how we have some kitties on screen over here, some feline friends to join us on our jungle adventure. So we're gonna go ahead and just start standing up. Once again, if you're just coming back, I recommend a yoga strap for my section and two yoga blocks for books if you have them for support. Go ahead and start standing upright. Let's take a minute. To close the eyes, soften the knees, get a little bit more light in my jungle real quick. Great. And just start to sway side to side with the eyes closed. Find some nice little shoulder rolls backwards. And no matter where you are right now, whether you're in the Amazonian jungle or maybe a really lush Hawaiian jungle, just imagine it. Maybe you're in the south of Mexico some Aztec ruins nearby. Just kind of visualize your favorite jungle you want to be in right now. We'll take those shoulder circles forward. Maybe you're a, a panther just stalking around, checking out your home, looking for prey. And then let's start with the shoulder square. And start to roll down, tucking your chin to your chest first. You can make a little purring sound. As you start to roll down, it feels good. Just try it. If you can roll your arms, I highly suggest it. And then from here, we're going to walk it out, walk our hands out to what would normally be called a bear walk. But sure, you could be a bear. I'm going to call it a jaguar walk. So. Think about really rolling through your shoulder joints and through your, the muscles of your legs. Just exploring your jungle, wherever you're at, your jungle living room. And if you don't have a lot of room, you can just go forwards and backwards. Have fun with it. You're trying to soften into your muscles. You're going to be a very lazy jaguar. So just let your steps Feel really heavy as you walk around and explore your jungle. And then just for fun, we're gonna go backwards. So go backwards just because it's awkward and fun. <laughs> Maybe you're a little bit dizzy from walking in circles. Be nice and heavy. And then let's find that fold again. So walk your paws back towards your feet. Take your, your paws, your feet paws a little bit wider. So a little bit wider than hip distance. Let your upper body be really heavy and start to sway side to side. Imagine that your, your limbs are banyan tree vines blowing in the wind. 
And you're just going to slowly roll up through your spine while keeping the side to side movement, a micro bend in your knees or more if that's more comfortable. And if you find a part in your spine that's really sticky, just stay there and go back and forth. Let your vines swing. No rush. That's the last thing to rise. Let this movement go into your shoulders. And once you're standing upright, start some neck circles, one direction. Finishing that movement at the crown of the head. And then the other direction. Awesome, come to center. Let's go ahead and reach our arms up and with your paws, reach, reach, reach. I'll stand back a little bit further so you can see me. Reach, reach, reach. So while you're on your, your tippy toes of your paws, imagine you're trying to get that mango we've been talking about that sounds so delicious all throughout class, like the most perfectly ripe mango. So you're reaching through your shoulders, reaching through the tippy toes, or maybe it's a banana you're reaching for. You really want because you're so hungry. Trying to get that. I'll come back down, place the heels down. Reach the arms up nice and high. Let's take a little thumb lock with our hands. If you want to be in banana, you can by all means close your fingers. We're going to find a nice long spine. On the inhale, reach tall. Exhale, find that nice C curve banana shape in the spine. If fruit is your thing, you can totally be a banana or you can. Flap your, your butterfly wings here. Or two, maybe it's a toucan, whatever you're feeling. Feel it out. Inhale, come back up to center. Grow top. Exhale, side hinge over. Really let this movement come from the side body. The hips are square, shoulders are square. Inhale, back to center. Do that one more time on each side. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale over, inhale up, and drop the arms down. Let's come to a nice wide straddle. Dip one shoulder to the center. Look over your opposite shoulder. Inhale, brings you back to center and opposite. And you can also find your little on the exhale, right? So inhale to center. Exhale, inhale, exhale, like little happy jungle cats. Have fun with it. I love rolling my arse and purring for you guys. All right, let's straighten the legs, take the hips up to the sky, arms down to the mat. And just feel where you feel comfortable, feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. You can kind of bend into one knee, and then the other. See how low you can get to your ankle bone, but make sure to keep your knee stacked over the ankle, protect your joints here. Just going side to side, creating a little more limber feeling in the legs. And slowly heel toe the feet into center. Come down into a nice squat. Same thing, move side to side, and you can purr again. Jocelyn, I love your kitty friends. You're really making us feel like we're in the jungle today. That's it. So really soften your sits bones towards your heels. Oh, yes. And lift the hips back on up. Let's take it around to a lunge. So one leg behind the other. Find a nice lunge. Square your hips. <laughs> a jungle. Yes, it is. I love that. So square your hips with your hands if you need to. Imagine your hip bones connecting. You can check out my sweet jungle pants that actually have succulents and monstera leaves together. I'm not sure how it works, but I love them. They're my favorite. 
breathe into the hip flexor, really feel it extending through your hip flexor forward and taking your left hip back if your left leg is forward, your right hip back if your right leg is forward. Exhale, Let's straighten the front leg. So you're in a half split and point and flex the front paw, the frog leg, whatever you are in your jungle, wherever you are in your jungle. Hey, Sarah, can you adjust so that we can see your feet? Oh, sure. Okay, that's ah, much better. So we're flexing, keep hips stacked above the knee and pointing. So with this, you should feel a nice calf stretch. That's the goal. We're trying to loosen our calves up. For my, for my splits, I'm mainly tight in my calf area. It's not so much the hamstrings. Hips and calves for me. We're all different though. Really trying to loosen up there. And then bend into your front leg. Take your opposite hand down. And just for fun, nice shoulder stretch. Left arm back if your left leg is forward. And then bend your back knee. See if you can catch your foot in your hand. You can always use your belt to wrap around your back leg if you need to. So I will show that. And take this. And pull it towards your glute muscle. So once you either have your belt around your foot, if that helps you with this, or your hand on your foot, we're going to pulse into our hand, but using your glute muscle and pressing your hip flexor forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Take your left hand forward, your back hand forward. Walk your front foot out to the side for a nice lizard pose. Maybe you're a gecko here. So lower down to your forearms. If you can keep your back mostly straight, if you feel really rounding and uncomfortable, then stay with arms straight out. You can also leave the sole of your foot down if that stretches in a different area for you, for me. I like to open my leg up to the side. And then take the left hand, let's press the left leg away from the body or the front leg away out toward the outer edge of your yoga mat. Really get into the hip joint here. And then bring the hands Back to center, walk the foot into your midline and find a nice, well, not so much a pigeon pose. What can we call it? A toucan pose or any jungle bird that you want to be today. Roll the right hip flexor down towards the mat to square your hips. That's it. This should feel really good after that booty blaster by Staza. Just release it all. Ah. Feel free to purr the whole way down as your forehead touches the mat. And inhale, rise all the way back up to your lunge. And start to straighten your front leg. We're in a half split again where we started. Get your yoga blocks handy. If they're not already next to you. You'll need them. Jungle, jungle bricks. All right. So what I like to do when I'm stretching my splits is trick myself so that I don't really realize what I'm doing especially on my left side, because I struggle with that side splits. So as I bend and straighten, I also uh, internally rotate my right hip and then release. So I come out of my square and back in a few times. Get really 
really saucy with the hips, move side to side, straighten the leg. As I'm doing that, I slowly start to press my heel out, okay? So a little bit of movement to trick your body into going a little bit deeper. Your blocks will be your best friend. If you need this extra support, feel free to have them. You know, you could be starting on this level and then once you get a little bit deeper, maybe you're down on the second setting of your blocks and then eventually maybe you don't need them at all. Really just check in with the squareness of your hips. Those jungle cats love to have square hips in good form, clearly. Oh, and settle and breathe. See if on the exhale, you can drop your hips a little bit lower towards the mat. Think about long, long limbs. So pointing out of each toe, think of your legs as endless. Staying nice and active in your glutes, but also allowing yourself to relax on the exhale. Once you're in a nice square slits, feel free to challenge yourself. If you don't feel challenged, you can also lock your front or back leg or both. And then work on finding that nice square splits again. I'm might not quite ready for that on the side. Another option here is to exhale. Take a little lion nap over your front leg. You really feel this even more. Oh yes, oh yes. Inhale. Slowly come out of this. I do the same thing coming out. So I start to flex and point my leg, move my hips side to side, like, ooh, that wasn't so bad. That's okay. Did some work, proud of it. And also bandage that front leg once I find more of a lunge. Okay, come to all fours. Find a child's pose for a moment. Maybe you're Mowgli right now, your child's pose. And let's roll up to all fours. You can find some jungle cat and, I don't know, elephants maybe. To stay on theme, I don't know about cows, but whatever animal you want to be right now. As you inhale, you lift and open the spine, exhale, round the spine. So we'll come to neutral and just wag our tail a few times to reset the hips and the pelvis. Wagging whatever animal tail want to have. All right. Let's find a lunge on the other side. So right leg forward for me. I don't know what it is for you, but you'll know which one. Awesome. Take a moment to straighten our leg. Right, first we're going to find our lunge here. Square the hips, so see if you can draw a line between your hip points. Usually that means taking the left hip forward, the right hip back. Beautiful. Think of pressing into your left hip flexor. And then take the left hand down if your right leg is forward. Reach back, open the shoulder. Like you're trying to reach for a pineapple out of your reach that looks so delicious. They take forever to grow, so if you see one, definitely pick it. And then bend your back knee. This is where you can use that belt to assist you if you need a little extra support here. You can grab with your hand. Once you have that, take your time, get situated, and then we'll pulse for 10, nine, squeeze the butt, hip flexor forward, eight, Seven, six, 
One, ha, release that. Bring your shoulders back to center. Walk your foot out to the side of your mat. Find our gecko, Amazonian gecko pose. So if your back starts to round with your forearms down, then come back up to straight arms. This will be better for your spine. And you can also use a block. I don't know if I said the other side. Maybe you're at forearms with a block level. That's a great place to be too. Drop lengthening your chest forward. And then let's take the left hand down, the right hand push onto that leg open. Maybe you're still down on your forearm. So you're pushing so externally, rotate the femur. And come back to center for our parrot pose. No pigeons in the jungle. Parrots only. So square the hips. And slowly relax. We're headed all the way down to the mat. Really great to stretch our buns after that booty blaster that was killer. One more breath. And inhale, rise the arms up. If you're a lion, just took a lion nap. Now you're ready to stretch your opposite side split. So come back to your lunge, same leg, have your blocks ready. You'll need them and start on the high setting. Whatever that is for you, let's start to straighten and bend that front leg. Once again, the goal is to find movement in the hips. So come out of your square and then back in. And as you're doing that, feel a little bit more warm, a little bit more length in your muscles. Start to stretch your front heel forward just a little bit every time. And also purr if you want to. That's also very distracting. It's also a really relaxing sound. So fun. Keep stretching your leg forward. Tricking yourself. It feels so good. I love stretching the splits. My favorite. And work your way. Check in with your hips though. Make sure that they're not coming out of your square completely. Really think of taking the right hip back. Your right leg is forward, the left hip forward. And we have just about one more minute left, my jungle friends. So feel free to challenge yourself by taking a block on your front leg or your back leg or both. Stretch a little bit deeper into this. You can also take a little dog wire nap over the front leg just to really feel it and all of those muscles of your leg really give them give them a good ride Woo. whenever you feel like you've had enough stay a few breaths longer because we go hard here in the jungle we challenge ourselves gotta be ready for anything and then when just about done slowly start to walk out of this by maybe bringing your blocks back in to help you and finding some jungle hips. Lots of movement here. And then once you're in your lunge, bend and straighten that leg. Ah, awesome. Really quick, just all fours. Wag your tails like you mean it. Shake it out. I just want to say thanks so much for coming to our jungle party. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as me and see you next time.
Thank you everyone for joining and all the coaches. That was so much fun in our little jungle boogie. And thank you so much, Cressy, as always. And mwah, much love to all of you. Thank you guys again so much for joining us this evening. It was so much fun dancing with you guys and doing um, all of that good flowy uh, stretching and booty stuff with everyone today. Thank you so much. And again, as Saza said, huge, huge thank you to Cressy. You guys have no idea how much work she puts into all of these. It's really crazy. So give her a little extra love in the chat if you don't mind. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for starting it off with me and for enjoying the little monkeys and tigers that I have running around my house right now. And of course, Cressy, we love you. Thank you so much for all of your hard work. Yay, thank you all for being here. You guys are amazing. I loved all the purring that went down. That was so good. You reminded me how much I love to purr myself. Um, and thanks for the love, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys make it worth every second. So thanks for being here. Please join us tomorrow for the aerial intensive. It is our grounded aerialist apocalyptic aerial conditioning um, theme. So very similar to what it's been in the past. Um, definitely for everyone. It may be challenging for you, may not be as challenging for you. You may be an aerialist, you might not be an aerialist. You might dress up, you might not dress up, but either way, come join us. Um, and I will be posting a live video update on the group page um, just to kind of let you guys know where we're at with Circus Workout Party and what to expect moving forward. So you guys have an amazing rest of your night and I hope to see you tomorrow. And one more thing I actually forgot to say, that if you guys